Hey guys, so I am super excited today because this is going to be my very first ever monthly favorites video and I am super excited. I was going to do one last month but I just got too hectic and crazy and I just forgot and didn't have enough time to record and then be able to edit before it was like a week and a half into um, May? Yes. Before it was a week and a half into May. So I'm really excited to be able to do this this month. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And I guess before I start to kind of explain what I have going on here, um, today was my cousin's fifth birthday party. So it was a princess themed birthday party. And since I'm the only female in the family that has blonde hair, I got the amazing task of being Elsa today, which is fine because I actually really like Frozen, so um, as you can see, I kind of have the Elsa braid going on here, and I actually have my makeup today is Elsa inspired. So in case you're wondering what's going on with the purple eyeshadow and pink lips and blue dress, that is why I have that on today. <laughs> That's the reason why. So yeah, okay, so now back into monthly favorite. Okay, so I have a few different products that I wanna to talk to you about today. Most of them are makeup products, but I also do have a couple other beauty type products. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about, I actually have a couple that aren't really this month's favorites. They're kind of like my go-to always favorites. And the first is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I use this in really all of my makeup looks. I've strayed away from it once or twice and every time I've tried something else I haven't been happy with what I tried so I always end up going back to this. This is my favorite for under eye concealer. This is the only under eye concealer that I've been able to find where um, it won't crease underneath and it doesn't settle into any lines or pores or anything like that. So. I also use it to conceal the rest of my face, but definitely my under under my eyes is where I like to use it the most. So if you're looking for a really good under eye concealer, I definitely recommend the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I am in shade NW20. And I also, if you're looking for color shades, I could probably go one shade lighter and still be still be good. So my next favorite is going to be foundation, and I've kind of alluded to this in some of my other videos that this is my newfound favorite, but um, it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Um, I am in shade 103 Natural Buff, and this is a little bit dark for me, so I could probably go a shade lighter, or it's probably going to be my perfect summer color as soon as I get outside a little bit. I just love everything about this foundation. It has a great longevity. I literally am putting this on first thing in the morning and it's staying on all day. I also have this included in my flawless foundation routine, which I, I'll link below as well. Um, but yeah, this is just great. And I mean, for as far as drugstore products go, it's a little bit um, on the more expensive side for drugstore foundations, but it's still a really, really, really good price. I think it runs around $10, so obviously still super affordable. It might be a little bit more than that depending on where you go to get it. But um, yeah, I've just been loving this and using this constantly. So if you're looking for a good foundation, and I wouldn't even classify if you're just looking for a drugstore because I've had other higher end foundations and I like this better. So yeah, definitely go out and get this. This is an awesome product. Good job, L'Oreal. My next product is going to be a highlighter, and I've, again, used this in pretty much all of my recent videos. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighter. It's the Fergie Collection, and this is, it's the Fergie Center Stage Collection, and this color is Rose Champagne Gold. Like I said, this is just an awesome product. They did a really good job on the formulation. It doesn't really have any glitter or anything like that. Um, it's just, I mean, it's just such a pretty, pretty color. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. I'm loving it. Like I said, no chunks of glitter. It's just a really nice shimmer. It's got that kind of like nude peachy tone to it. So I think this can work on a lot of different skin tones. So I'm really loving that. Um, the next product is a blush. I am actually using the Milani Baked Blush and this is in shade Luminoso number five. So my only complaint about this is it's kind of hard to open. So here is the blush. And I had actually gotten this because I had heard that it was a dupe for NARS Orgasm, and it is so pretty. 
and this is like my perfect blush for summer for me you can see it it's right above where I did the highlighter because it's just that really pretty peach pink shade it's got a little bit when you look at it it's got a little bit of that kind of gold to it I don't think you can really see on camera but it's got a little bit of a gold to it and it's just really nice I really like the formulation I really like the color this is my perfect summer blush so been loving that um oh, I need to save this for the end <laughs> that's how much I love it uh, so the next one again I talked about it a couple times and I got this actually as a gift with purchase um, when I was um, buying some of my other products and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil it is a eyeshadow primer and color corrector is how it's listed and I have been using this a ton to highlight my under my brow bone and even on top too if I'm trying to really sculpt out my eyebrows. And I just love it. It's super smooth and creamy and easy application and it really blends out nicely. So I was super excited that I got this as a gift with purchase. Um, but now I'm going to have to keep buying it because I'm hooked on it now. But I love it. My next product is also by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. And this, again, nothing new. I pretty much use this every time I do my makeup and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I am in shade Ash Blonde. Um, it also is called Taupe depending on where you get it so if you're looking and you can't find Ash Blonde look for Taupe because they'll have one or the other. Um, so I just love this. This is again the formula same with their uh, Pro Pencil. It's super creamy so it goes on really really nicely it's not soup it doesn't get cakey it just it's a really smooth application you don't have some eyebrow pencils you have to press down like really hard and then you have like different shades depending on how hard you press on certain parts of your eyes so I just really love this and the spoolie on it is great it's just the perfect little size and it just really does a good job of blending out all of that product so it just makes it look super natural I used it today so as you can see, um, I will say, because I have lighter eyebrows, it's not as easy to sculpt my brows. I think if you have dark hair, you are so lucky because your brow game is going to be on point. Where I feel like with blondes, I mean, if you're blonde, you can, I'm probably preaching to the choir right now, but if you have blonde eyebrows or if you have lighter color eyebrows, it's really hard to find a good eyebrow pencil because if you do it too dark then it just looks like you either are like a fake blonde or you bleach your hair or it just looks way too dark and it just the contrast just does not work it's just it's not cute it's you know like it makes you think of like platinum blonde and then black eyebrows so I will say I really do like this and it um, it, it still leaves a natural color and doesn't look like I've like painted on my eyebrows so I love this. I would definitely recommend getting this. It is a little bit more expensive. It's, I believe, $21 at Ulta or at Nordstrom's, um, but I definitely think it's worth it. And it lasts a really long time, too, so that's, you know, good to know. The next product that I'm going to be talking about is actually a hair product, and I actually just got this a couple days ago, and I'm sure all of you already know about this, but it's the Batiste Dry Shampoo, and right now I have Cool and Crisp Fresh. They were actually out of the blonde. I wanted to try the blonde because I wanted to see how the color worked, um, but I got the cool. I like the scent of this one, and again, it's the Cool and Crisp Fresh scent, um, but it does go on white powder, so it doesn't really help with any coloring or anything like that. Um, but I will say I love this because if you've used other dry shampoos, sometimes they can, they almost make your hair feel dirtier, although they soak up the oil. It's like, almost like you can feel the individual, like, like powder in your hair. And that's, uh, that's why I've been trying to find a really good dry shampoo. So this one, it's super, super fine. So I just love this. I, I'm really hooked on this. I'm really excited to try the blonde because I think I'm going to fall in love with that too. So I have this in today and as you can see like my hair doesn't look greasy or oily at all and this is like my fifth day of hair. So this is really great and I also used this last night so it's really good that you can actually use it twice. Some dry shampoos you get one and done. That's that's all you can, that's the only use you can get out of it because your hair is just going to have too much product in it and you have to wash it out. This one I've used two days in a row and it's still really good. So I like this. My next product I talked about actually in my last um, 
mm, two videos ago. It was my tag. It was my this or that tag, and I talked about it. Um, and it's the Buffy Bar from Lush. So this is the large size. They come in two sizes. They come in a smaller size, and then they come in this big size. And I've had this one for a while, so it's even kind of, you even get a little bit more than this. But this is one of, like, my holy grails. I absolutely love this, especially come summertime, because it is so good. Like, it honestly gives me extended time on my shaves, because... It buffs everything out and it like leaves your skin so moisturized without feeling like oily or greasy or anything like that. And I also talked about if you're someone that doesn't like to put lotion on or doesn't like the feel of lotion, for example, my brother's fiance, she like refused to put lotion on her legs, especially if she had to put pants on afterwards. She like didn't like the feel of it. And so I told her to try this and now she is also hooked on it. So definitely something that I recommend. I love it. I love the feel of it. I love the smell of it. It's so fresh and it's got like almonds in it and it's natural and it's amazing. So do yourself a favor and go out and get this. You can get the smaller size if you want to start with the smaller size first because they are a little bit expensive but they do last a really long time. So I've had this one for a couple months already and barely made a dent. So love this. One of my all time favorites but I needed to include it in my monthly favorites so you know how much I love it. So last but certainly not least, I have been waiting to talk about this product because I am obsessed with it. So it is the Stila One Step Correct Primer. I actually use this in my flawless foundation routine, so I will link that video down below. I actually decided to try this out because I saw a recommendation from another beauty YouTuber and I wanted to give it a try because I've really been looking for a good primer. I have combination to oily skin so for me it's really hard to find something that can help my foundation and my makeup last all day usually I'm having to apply powder throughout the day and sometimes my makeup's just like sliding off my face and it's just not cute so um I have been obsessed with this it is kind of weird when you put it on because it's got like a peachy color green and white along with like a gel so like the color looks really weird when it comes out on your fingers, but it blends out really nicely. And it's just meant to do like a lot of like color correcting and make your face just look a little more flawless and kind of correct your skin tone. And it has made my foundation and my makeup last so, so much longer. So this is seriously like if there's one thing that you're going to get out of this favorites video try the Stila One Step Primer. This is so, so amazing, especially if you have oily to combination skin. It has been just a godsend for me. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Um, yes, I've been waiting to tell you about it because I have loved it so much and it's made, it's made my makeup just amazing. So all right, well that does it for this month's beauty favorites. I hope you enjoy my picks for May. And let me know if you have other favorites that you want me to give a try. I'm always looking for recommendations, so definitely comment down below. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys, bye.